Wie geht's es der Junge? I'm going to talk about a topic that I've seen come up and really not a lot of people cover. And it's a bit of a big market sort of news. Big in video game, big in tech, big in a lot of things. And yet, I don't think anybody's really given it the addressing that it really should. And that, of course, is Microsoft's recent purchase of Bethesda. For those who don't know, Bethesda is the people who make like all of the Elder Scrolls games, Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, as well as all of the Fallout games. Not to mention the most recent Doom, which sold 2 million copies in July 2017. So it's got to be way more now. Not to mention it was the fourth highest selling game on the Switch at the time of its release. And its sequel, Doom Eternal, sold over 3 million copies when it released. Well, the big news is that Microsoft bought Bethesda for 7.5 billion, and that's with a big B. Billion. That is more than what Disney paid for Marvel and Star Wars combined. That's 25 Modern Warfare 2s, the best shooter ever made, and also simultaneously one of the most expensive games ever made. They can make 25 of those with that money. Well, I guess that just means Microsoft saw the value of Skyrim being on literally everything ever, and that includes the Amazon Alexa. And that game came out twice. The first time was back in 2011, so you know it's made some big dosh. But the question I'm sure you're asking, and the reason why you're here, is of course for you to hit that like button. Okay, I thought I'd try. The big thing is that there's gonna be a lot of big sweeping changes in the gaming sphere, as well as a number of other things within tech from the future out here. If people are throwing $7.5 billion for, yes, a very successful game company, but also one with its uh, known problems, that means a lot of companies might get bought out by some big tech firms in the near future. Microsoft and Sony have always been major competitors, but it looks like this year, they be out buying everybody. Microsoft seems like it's doing this as a way to sort of bolster up their Game Pass, a subscription service to where you can play the games on their servers instead of actually having to buy the game and instead pay a monthly subscription. You're looking about paying 120 to 180, depending on what you want, to have access to their entire library of games that they have available. That is immediately available from streaming just right away. You don't even have to buy these games nowadays. Not to mention with the PS5's crazy good launch that we saw a few days ago, I think Xbox might be willing to pick this up a little bit. Even though this is a deal that's obviously lasted multiple multiple years, this is only going to be a continuing trend for these two as the market just gets more and more competitive. And as small companies, or once were small companies like Valve or like Epic, start to open up their own platforms, their own facilities, to where people can suddenly be a rival to these two major corporate giants. But Microsoft and Xbox in particular are out here snatching people up. For example, Microsoft doesn't own Sega yet, but they went ahead and paid for quite a bit of a reboot of Fantasy Star Online 2, which is a huge pseudo MMO in Japan. Honestly, I kind of see this as a win-win, especially if you're a Bethesda fan. Especially if you're a Bethesda fan. I mean, think about it. Have a game like Skyrim or Oblivion or even better yet, Morrowind, and it's got 25 times the budget of the most expensive game ever made. I honestly think we might actually see some good quality games from Bethesda where you don't have to have fans go in and patch or go in and mod the game to make it even better. Especially after the nightmare that was Fallout 76, I think it's about time we see some good quality games come out of Bethesda because I don't have a lot of hope otherwise for a Elder Scrolls 6. Who knows what the future holds? The fact that Master Chief and Doom Guy are a part of the same parrot company now means that we can have a crazy fun wild shooter coming up. Or the fact that Banjo, which is owned by Rare, and Sonic, which is owned by Sega and may be purchased by Microsoft soon, might be pulled from Smash Brothers altogether. That's the worst setting scenario, oh no. Or is it the best? Sonic mains have a little bit of a je ne sais quoi to them. But what do you think? Maybe a big tech company might come around and buy the producer of one of your more favorite games and give it a really good reboot. That's hopefully what we can see in the near future. With all this competition going on, this only helps us, the consumer, as they're trying to lower and lower and beat each other's prices out, or they're trying to produce higher and higher quality goods. So that might be what we've been looking for. We might honestly get the Elder Scrolls 6 that we've always wanted, hoped, and dreamed. 
But of course, like most things corporate, Todd Howard could always just tell his sweet little lies and we might just get what you expect out of an Elder Scrolls 6. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you want to see more stuff like this. I'm not always going to cover tech and gaming sort of news, but this is sort of a big business sort of thing. So I really wanted to kind of throw my hat in the ring, especially being a uh, MLG expert gamer such as myself. With that, thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.